Man, I did not sleep well on that air mattress last night. Ugh, I need to get a house down here. Just want to say real quick, let me know if you guys enjoy the new intro. Put it down in the comments. This is Editing Austin. Go back to, go back to Video Austin. Alright, so today, uh, yes, the plan for today is... I was talking to a couple of guys down at the gas station down there. I went to go grab some fuel for my truck, and I ended up meeting a couple of them. Really nice guys, by the way. And they told me, I said I was possibly looking for some equipment, looking for some forestry equipment, all sorts of stuff, and they said that uh, there's a guy right next to, actually, where we were, uh, he owns, like, a scrapyard, but he also sells a lot of equipment out of there, so I was like, hey, that's a pretty good idea, we should just go down there, see what he has, even if he doesn't have any forestry equipment, we should just see what he has, and maybe there's something there that I want. Anyway, if you guys are enjoying the vids, be sure to smash the like button, and if you're new, you know, you could subscribe. Anyway, so... We're going to be headed down there now. I have got seasons around here. Now, you guys are probably wondering, uh, how the heck did I get around here? I just drove kind of just around this. Yeah, kind of like so. Anyway, it's 7 a.m., so it's still kind of dark. Anyway, we got to turn our headlights on, but we should be good now. But uh, you guys seem to really enjoy the last video, so we're going to be doing a lot more of this. Um, I got a couple more interesting video ideas coming up for you guys, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Anyway... We're going to be headed down to the scrapyard kind of there. Um, it, I'm also considering getting something for hauling bales because we're going to need it. Um, whether that's going to be a trailer, a flat deck trailer, or that's going to be a truck. I don't know. Maybe I'd like both. I don't know. Maybe a different truck would be kind of cool. I guess we'll just have to see. I didn't even want to see uh, what he had because I didn't have my vlog equipment with me and I couldn't show you guys. So I had to do it today. Kind of sucked because I wanted to go look at it so bad yesterday, but I couldn't. But oh well, I mean, getting a trailer up this is really going to suck. Oh man, that's going to suck. I hope he has some cool stuff there. I don't know, maybe we'll look for a skid steer. Maybe we won't. I guess we'll just have to see. But uh, yeah, or a skid steer or a loader. Maybe a loader, I don't know. I, I don't know, if I even need a loader, do I really even realistically need a loader? Probably not because I've got like two tractors with loaders on them so i probably don't even need one. Oh, also another thing i forgot to mention be expecting a mic upgrade coming here in the next maybe month or so getting a new one the the quality is going to improve a lot so i know uh, it hasn't been the greatest because i've been recording on a mic that i've had for like three two three years now and yeah i need to upgrade it's coming don't worry it's coming. I know a couple of y'all were like, Austin, you need to get a better mic. And you guys are going to actually be able to hear my uh, real voice. <laughs> and you guys are all going to unsubscribe because it's going to be so bad. We should just be getting very close to it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What the heck are they doing on these roads? That was not there before. Good night. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, this is the scrap here anyway. I'm surprised I didn't notice this before. So... Yeah, this place looks awesome. They said he's open at 7 a.m. So I, I'm thinking, is Dizzy have a house, house around here? I'm, <laughs> if that's his house, I'm, I'm gonna be surprised. Hold on, I should probably shut my truck off here. Okay, let, let's let's go knock on his door. All right, so we just talked to Frank there. Now Frank is an interesting individual, as far as I can gather from that two-second conversation. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. Anyway. So, whoa, he's got, he's got a lot of cool stuff back here, is that? Huh, that's a weird car to ha have out here. Ooh, now this, this catches my eye. This, oh, you, I, is that his work truck? Nah, it can't be his work truck. It's, it, it the, the truck itself doesn't look too bad. I mean, I think it's, I think it's been refurbished at least. Yeah, it's, it's been restorated. For sure. Oh boy, I'm getting stuck on these cars here. Yeah, this has been refurbished for sure. Man, look at this thing. This thing's in like mint condition. Uh, can I can I get in it? Did he lock the door? Oh, okay. I'm I'm in. All right. Um, wow. It, the this has obviously been restored, but I the, I'm just surprised that the body's in so good condition. And why is it just sitting here back back here like it's like it's like it, it doesn't run or something like it doesn't run like I I don't know it just seems weird I'll have to ask him about that because that that would be perfect for hauling bales that would be awesome okay what, what else has he got back here he's got uh, a PJ okay ooh 
Now this, this sparks my interest as well. That would be nice to have on the farm, but I'm, I'm not going to worry about loaders right now because I already have, like, way too much of them. So, yeah. Oh, that must be his, yeah, that must be his, uh, yard, his yard loader, I guess. Um, huh, okay. Whoa, that's a, that's a nice, uh, that's a nice little ram he's got there. Okay, I'm assuming this, this one looks like it runs. So, I'm assuming this is his work truck. Uh, okay. What's back here? So, just a regular trailer. And then... Uh, what? what? Um, from what I can gather, that's an old case. I wonder if he has the rest of the parts for that. That'd be cool. Huh. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, what else has he got around here? I don't... It's, he doesn't have too much. I guess I'll have to ask him if he ever gets, like, actual farm equipment and stuff in. Like, the guys uh, that I was talking to the other day, they said he gets lots of farm equipment in, but it gets bought up pretty fast. Um, because he usually holds an auction about once a week. And I guess they just had one, so that I'm surprised that didn't get sold. Had a truck over there. Maybe he just got that in. I don't know. What's the deal with that? I'll have to ask him. But it looks very similar to that. But this, this is nice. I like this truck, but I think this is his work truck. That's what I'm assuming. Anyway... Um, I'm thinking we'll ask him about this truck and then we'll possibly ask him about the uh, about the loader down here I, I don't know if I would I want a trailer would I want a trailer hmm I don't know I don't know if I'd want a trailer cuz I I don't know it's so it's so hard to think of what I want on that no, it's okay. It's got excavators and stuff back here. Oh man, that looks that looks. Okay, this is an interesting, interesting wheel loader there. That's uh, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm gonna ask him about. I think I'm gonna ask him about this PJ here, because that one down there looks like his work PJ. But I don't know what's the deal with this one. Who knows? Maybe this. Maybe the guy bought this as a combo pack. I don't know. And possibly about that loader there. I okay. We're gonna ask him about that. We're gonna see what he says. And yeah, I. Hmm. There's just so many cool things here. I just don't know. All right, let's let's talk to Frank here. Well, um, <laughs> we bought ourselves a truck and a trailer. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. So story behind this. Motor is blown. Okay. Um, basically. He doesn't, it, it was just, it was restored, but it, he had it working for a little while, and then, like, they didn't do anything to the motor, they just restored the body, and the motor's toast, he didn't want to go through replacing it all, and everything, uh, he knows where I can get a motor for it, so I might possibly just buy a motor, um, yeah, I, I got a pretty good price for this thing, not gonna lie for how, how well it is, I'm surprised he sold it to me, honestly, and PJ got, got it for a good deal as well. He is going to transport this stuff down for me because he's the one with the winch on the trailer and all that stuff. So he's going to get that down to my place for me. Anyway, so another plan for today. Yeah, we've, we we now have that. Anyway, another plan for today is we need to do some cultivating. He's going to actually deliver that stuff later today. But oh, I left my lights on my truck. Of course I did. Anyway, I keep getting off topic here. So we're going to go do some cultivating today. Deal with that. Uh, we need to do it. And it needs to get done. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much what needs to happen there. Uh, so we've got the little chunk up there by uh, kind of where the old other house is where I have my tent up. There, it was really cold sleeping in there last night. It was not fun. But uh, yeah, we're going to go do some cultivating up there. I'm really, really excited to do something with this farming. Um, I did spend yesterday as well looking over all the tractors, making sure they run, putting diesel fuel in them. They are all, all of them actually surprisingly run no problems, which I was amazed at. I'm surprised there's nothing wrong with them, so I guess that's good. So we're just going to get up there. I'm going to get working with that. All right, we back already. That's a pretty short trip. It's just really steep there, so it takes quite a while just to even get up there. So what are we going to do some cultivating with here? What are we going to do some cultivating with? Okay, so cultivator is decently small. Hmm. I think the Ford's our biggest tractor, honestly. Next to the 4640, but 
I don't really want to use the 4640 because this one's got the wider tires. Just seems like it'd be nicer to use. Okay, we're just going to use the 4640. Actually, I just got to unhook this here, so give me a second. Okay, we are good to go. So, I know it's probably going to be weird seeing a John Deere cultivator on a Ford tractor, but you know what? That's going to be fine. Yeah, it should be fine. But, man, I love this tractor. It is a very awesome tractor. Okay, back up here. There we go. All right. Yeah, it still looks almost big for that. I don't know. It, I think it'll be fine, but it just seems like uh, definitely should be running a bigger tractor. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to see. Anyway, we're going to get going up here. Hopefully, I can get past those trees. I should just be able to drive them right over this, right over them with this. But if not, I will get the chainsaw out. And yeah, I'll see you guys when we get there. Okay, so we are now here. So let's see if we can get up this big sucker of a hill. Oh boy, she's really slowing down. It does not like this hill at all. I might have to do some landscaping. <laughs> oh man. This is going to be a bit of a... Yeah. Oh boy. Barely getting up there. Oh, we got a stump there. Hmm. Okay, I might have to do some cutting on that one. All right. So this doesn't look like a big field, but it's actually decently sized. I think it's... Yeah, it's... It's decently big. So, I think we're just going to back this up here. Yeah, we'll just get this unfolded here. I, I'm really bad at backing up, as you guys can tell. Yeah, I just kind of want to go. I want to get closer to the edge there. I don't want to be so, like, far out. Okay. There. I think we've almost got it. Close enough. Not close to the edge, though. <laughs> I don't want to go taking this tractor off the edge. Okay, lower this down here. Okay. I, I think that's good. So, can I just... Yeah, I'll just go along the edge here. I think that should be about good. And yeah, she, yeah she's having a bit of a hard time there, but... I mean, I think all tractors... At the, I think the even the John Deere is going to have a hard time pulling this thing. Because it's just so stinking big. Well, it's not big, but just for the tractor size, it's just, I think the horsepower ratio is right. It's just everything else is kind of a little off on that. But I just want to get this out of the way. That way we can get on to other stuff. But uh, I suppose we have a neighbor that lives just over that way. If you can see where my camera's kind of pointing. That way. That way over there. Uh, he lives just down in the valley there on one of the old logging sites there. So we can just said, I was talking to him yesterday at the gas station. He was like, yeah, just pop in anytime if you need anything. I was like, oh, sweet. So, uh, he's kind of a mechanic there. So, he's a lot better of a mechanic than I am. So, I might just actually take that truck down to him. Because uh, the junker guy knows where I can buy a motor. So, as soon as I get that motor, I might just take it to him. Pay him to get it fixed there. But, uh, I did have to pay, like, a decent price for that Ford. Because, uh, obviously, the body is in mint condition. Well, I shouldn't say mint. It's a little beat up. But... Overall, it's pretty good, so I obviously had to pay a bit for that, but I think it's going to be worth it in the long run because we're going to have an awesome truck. Anyway, I'm going to throw this in time lapse for you guys, so enjoy. Talk about round when it's past to reach a glass to know You don't gotta fight alone Okay, I think I'm going to call that pretty good. We just got little spots here that I just want to grab quick. Yeah, that should be good. This has not been plowed slash cultivated in a very long time, so I just wanted to get that done and out of the way. Break up the soil there, obviously. I think I'm going to get a buy a harrow just so I can smooth that all over. It's going to look a little bit better, or at least, yeah, 
get my point anyway so we're just gonna head down to the farm again and i'll see you guys when we get there oh something i also forgot to mention is uh if you guys don't know i have a second channel awesome farmer extra that's almost at 2k subs if you guys want to go sub to it and we get it to 2k that would be epic having 2k on the channel would be pretty epic not gonna lie anyway uh we're gonna get this thing parked and where are we gonna park it it's a little bit dirty but you know what the rain will wash it off because i don't have a pressure washer down here right now but i'd like to eventually i think it would be nice um obviously i can't keep everything in the series 100 percent old iron like obviously the trailers and stuff um and the pressure washers once i get one are not going to be old iron because well can't really can't really do that so they're just going to have to be what they are um, but I'm most of the equipment. I'm gonna try to keep it old iron ish um, So Just so you guys know that's kind of how it's gonna be just wanted to let you guys know on that note uh, I just want to back this thing up here Yeah, that should be good right about there. Anyway, let's park that there. Um, I'm going to be possibly renting uh, one of the corn a uh, corn plants are from one of the guys down in the valley there I uh, they're close to the gas station anyway he said uh, i was i was mentioning to him that i need a corn planter and he was like yeah sure i got one so i'm just gonna probably rent that off of him rent it off of him or borrow it off of him whichever one we decide but uh then i'll be able to plant some corn here uh so it's gonna be super cool super fun we're gonna get to do lots of cool stuff on this map uh put your suggestions down in the comments of what i should do next of kind of like what i should keep doing just should i go for cattle Obviously, I'm going to go to go for cattle, but should I change it up, um, do more barn finds on here, kind of, just let me know. Uh, I might possibly grow the farm out more. I'll buy wood chipper and stuff and get all that cool stuff done. But uh, I do want to change it up a bit more. want to keep it a bit more exciting on this series. But, uh, yeah, if you guys didn't know, uh, Farmer's Dynasty is taking a bit of a backseat because I do want to focus more on this series. So, it might come back eventually. I don't know. It's just taking a backseat for now because there's a lot more cool stuff we can do on here. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see y'all in the next one.